folks welcome to what did you build today in today's video we're going to be building two uh 124 to 20 inch number 40 roller chain sprockets and that's a mouthful to say but anyway my name is mark and welcome to the channel okay so what we got going on here is uh we're going to take some of this here gray primer and we're going to paint the edge of this that way we can go along here and mark uh, every one of these holes until we get all the way around to make sure that the measurement was correct to start with and then if it's not a hacker it then we'll just take the gray primer and paint back over that and then we'll change the old pattern on this and start over until we get a old pattern that works so I already know that y'all know that I know that you know this is going to be a slow process. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in a little while. Okay, folks, so there it is. Uh, first attempt is a failure. Uh, the distance between those two holes needed to be equal to these. And otherwise the chain ain't going to ride on the sprocket, right? So first attempt is a failure. We'll wipe all this off. We'll retouch it up with our spray paint. And we'll come back, we'll try it again after we change the uh, distance between the center point and these three dots. Uh, we can either shorten it or lengthen it and uh, go back over all the measurements again. And I got a feeling that the problem is, is in using a magic marker. Okay, I don't think I can consistently get it accurate, you know, trying to make a dot and then look through the hole and try to line that up that way. That's just not going to be accurate enough. I'm going to come up with something a little bit better and we'll be back here in, in a minute and we'll give it another try. Okay, so I have not cheated. I didn't look. We've got uh, two more full set of holes. And then we'll be back to the beginning. So I don't know if it's going to work or not. You're going to see it just like I'm going to see it. If it don't, hey, it'll be strike two. We'll go for strike three. And I'm not marking every single hole. There's no need in it. I'm just marking the outside hole, the last hole. Here we go. This is going to make us or break us. And there's how much we're off. Now, granted, it could be the magic marker. It's just not that accurate using a magic marker like this. So, okay, I'm going to call it a strike two. But uh, I think we're going to refine this a little bit better. Okay, so I've got a sheet of like 3 30 seconds. Uh, it's kind of a hard plastic. Uh, it does drill. It drills really good. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and cut out a template and use the drill bit to lay out the pattern and make sure that it's going to work right because using that magic marker is just not accurate enough to get it right. Okay, here we are again. I saved the best for last. So, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> you know what? I think we got it. I do not know what the difference of the, I should have marked the beginning because there is no difference. I mean, it goes exactly in every hole. Tell you what, that's a lot of drill holes right there. But we're over halfway done. We're coming up on about three quarters of the way done. Okay, here we go. We're right here at the end of it. Uh, this is where we're going to find out if it's all going to, all this work and damn trouble is going to pay off. Okay, we're setting in the first hole from when we started. So let me get this everything moved out here where we can get a measurement. I think it turned out good enough. The technique does work, but it's not 100%. It's not foolproof, it's not 100%, uh, but it really only comes down to, is it good enough to build a sprocket? That's what it comes down to. What do y'all think? Okay, leave a comment, because obviously I'm not gonna be done with these. Uh, we're, at, we're on Saturday night, I'm, I take Sundays off, so I'll get this video uploaded by tomorrow. And I won't make another one until next week. Now, see, there's another one that's a little bit tight. So, y'all leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And me, personally, I think it's probably good enough it'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start drilling these out to the, to the right dimension. That was the long way around. Next time we'll take the short way. <laughs> All right, let me get this damn thing cleaned up. We can take a look at it.
Okay, folks, does anybody ever say this building a sprocket ain't a lot of work? You send them my way. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, it's been a lot of work. But I think we're making good progress. Uh, Y'all leave something in comments. Let me know what you think. And we'll get back on this next week and get it done. And now I've got the other uh, sprocket already cut out. All we got to do is drill it. You know, same thing we did today. And uh, I'm thinking on, I wonder if we could set that other sprocket on the bottom of this and just drill down through there instead of having to, well, I don't know. Something to think on. Anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see y'all later. Bye.